Girls Trip may have turned into me being cheated on. I don't know how to do a TLDR, so please forgive me if I get it wrong. GF went on Girls Trip. A best friend of her called me and told me that she has cheated on me. Her best friend didn't give me proof. I confronted her and she denied it, asking why I didn't trust her. I asked for one of the guy in question's phone number. When she gave it to me, I later found out it was one of her other friend's numbers. When she went to block him, she deleted it when I questioned why the number was different. I, 23 male, and my GF, 23 female, have been together for three years. This past month, she hasn't been as active with me, neither wanting to kiss me or touch me. When I asked about it, since we've always been active together, I got told it's because she works with elderly men who flirt and hit on her all the time, so I didn't think anything of it. My GF went on a girl's trip with two of her best friends, one of the girls I've talked to a lot while hanging out with my girlfriend. Before my GF returned from her trip, she asked me to not come over and to let her have a day to rest since she has not gotten any sleep on her trip. I did not think anything of that either, so I went and visited my parents instead. She called me, and long story short, she came with me to eat with my family and watch a movie. We then went to her house afterwards. I was about to take a shower when one of her best friends, the one that I've talked to a lot, messaged me and asked if I had any plans. I told her that I was planning to propose in the following weekend as I would have three days off. She then told me that she had something important to talk to me about and called me. The friend informed me that while on their trip, she and the other friend were talking to my GF when GF told them that she had given oral to a co-worker while on break and was debating going further with him. GF went on to say that she was supposed to go and meet with him at a show he puts on later in the week, but was debating that too as she loved me. The friend began to apologize to me profusely, saying that she couldn't go on knowing that I was going to propose while GF was doing this. They've known for a while that I've had a ring and was planning to propose. The friend informed me that GF was debating on whether to block him or not. The friend apologized again to me, and we ended the call. I left the bathroom shaking badly and looked through my GF phone, to which she got up quickly, took it from me, and began doing something on it. I then asked her if we could speak in her room. I asked her about the guy and another guy that was sending her nude pictures. I've seen messages from him pop up on her phone, but she explained that she needed his number to get her work schedule from him, to which she denied everything and kept asking me who told me this. I would ask to see her phone, but she would ignore it and keeping asking me who told me this. When she did give the phone to me, I saw nothing. I then left the house and drove to the backyard since I was shaking. Too much to drive on the road. I called the friend back and asked for more details and if she had any proof or anything to show me. She told me that my GF had met one of the guys and had been discussing a book involving BDSM. The friend then told me the name of the book and that my GF and the guy had continued their conversation over text. The friend also told me that when she had asked my GF if I ever checked her phone, my GF told the friend that she was not worried about it, as I only ever get on her phone to send pictures of herself to me, not naughty photos I just loved having pictures of her to look at when I'm having a bad day. The friend couldn't send me any kind of proof since they do not save their chats on Snapchat. The friend continued to apologize to me while crying. We then ended the call. I was lost on what to do and sat there staring off into the distance, being unable to think. She asked if we could talk, and I told her we could. She came out and got into my vehicle. We talked while I drove us around. She explained to me that that conversation had not happened and that she did not do anything. I could tell that she had been crying. I asked if I could have the guy's phone number since she still had it saved, to which she gave it to me. I was then asked why I didn't believe her. As we drove, 
she reminded me that it was this friend that had told me about this that had been discussing cheating on her boyfriend while on the trip and that maybe she had done this to discredit anything my GF would have said to her significant other. When questioned about the book incident, she named off the book specifically and told me that the guy was not involved in that conversation whatsoever. During the drive, I asked her if she could block the guys that I had mentioned to her. She said yes. On a side note, we have had an issue in the past when we were first talking. She had told me a guy was flirting with her at work. Later on told me that they had hanged out after work. She also told me more or less that it was my fault. She also pointed out his house to me another time while I was driving. Since I had no concrete proof and loved this woman more than anything, I believed her. I got us food, took her home, and cuddled with her for a while. While we were laying in bed, she started to block the guys. I noticed that the number she had given me was different from the number she had saved for the contact. As she was hitting the delete button, I moved my finger to swipe up. When she noticed what I was doing, she hit delete before I could do anything. When I asked about it, she told me that it must have been a different number and that she had given me the correct one for the guy. I shortly left and drove home. While on the drive, I did a quick reverse search on the number she had given me, which came back to a friend of hers. When I first asked her about it, she denied it and sent me what she had as her friend's number. Shortly after that, she admitted that it was her friend's number and that she had given me that one since if I asked the guy what had happened, he would have spread rumors around her work about her. She is now texting me telling me that when she goes back to work, she will get the number for me so I can talk to the guy. At this point, I think I know what the answer is, but I would like opinions. Update Girls Tripped may have turned into me being cheated on. Yesterday, I woke up to GF Spam calling me. I went outside and sat and talked with my parents while she continued to call. I finally messaged her after she said she was going to come over that I needed some time alone. After talking with my parents for a while, I sat inside and read over the comments. In the crazy of everything, I had forgotten that I was somewhat smart and recorded the talks. I found where she had shown me messages with a guy I had previously asked her to block. When asked why she still had it, she told me that I only told her to block him on Snapchat. After watching the videos, I packed my things and left the house. I drove and parked at Walmart and called GF since I told her we would talk. I explained to her that with her jumping for the phone that it was a flag to me. She explained that she went and took it from me since I was not answering her. She has done this before with different items and was not deleting things but looking to see what I was looking for since I've had trouble with her phone before. I then told her that lying, trying to hide the number and deleting it before I could look was damning evidence that she was hiding something. Again, like last time, she told me she was worried that rumors would start and that she would lose her job. I then told her that her job is notorious for rumors like this to get spread, and I doubted very highly that she would get fired, that if thus had happened in reverse, I would not have given a second thought about my job. She then asked, doesn't that mean your mother is cheating on your father? My mother has worked at this job before. She told me she was trying to look out for our future together. I then told her that I was nothing but her safe boyfriend and that these guys were giving her attention that I apparently could not give to her. After this call, we ended the conversation and I began to drive home. While driving, my mother called. I told her that I wanted so badly to believe her. My mother told me that with everything that has happened, and been said that it points to her cheating. That in my stomach and heart, I know already that she's either cheated or started to. She also told me to be gentle when leaving her, but to be upfront about my reasons. We then ended this call. I called GF back after I had pulled over, and in a soft tone I told her that, with everything that has been said and everything you've done, I cannot trust you anymore, and I'm done, GF. I'm done.
She then said, are you really breaking up with me over the phone? To which I said, yes. She then complained that why couldn't I have done this in person? I let her know again that I was done. I told her that I wish nothing but the best for her and that I hope the next man she gets with treats and provides her with everything that I could not. She then hung up on me. I called my mother back and told her what I had done. She explained to me that it was going to be very hard, but I should be feeling some relief now, which in a way I was. Mother talked to me on the way home. I was nearly home when I broke down hard. Not afraid to admit, I cried hard. Girlfriend messaged me later that night asking if we could talk when she got home. I told her that we could. We talked about the same things, asking me why I couldn't believe her. We talked for a while about the same things, and she shortly got off to take a shower, where we continued to text each other. While texting, I learned that with the one guy she had gotten the picture from, that she had previously sent him an I'm bored message, but told me that it was because I was not answering her, and when I did message her, she dropped the conversation. I told her that I'd been through once, where I'd seen they had snapped back and forth. She told me that it was just small talk about work and nothing sexual. First, she told me the conversation was about her trip, then her work, and then both. I also found out that she had attempted to get a guy over that her aunt has previously tried to set her up with, but told me that he had canceled to go to his friends. I told her that I could not believe she would do such a thing and that if I ever had done that to her, she would have left me the second she had found out. She then told me that her and her aunt had told him that she was in a relationship. They were just friends and she invited him to go to a zoo. I asked her how she had gotten the number for the guy she supposedly gave oral to. She told me that she had seen him and he had asked for her number. I asked, so did he flirt with you before or after you had the number to which she told me after. I told her, then why did you not delete the number she told me that she just didn't and had honestly forgotten about it? I can't lie here. I went off on her saying that it's crazy how, from me not texting her back, she decided to text another man that she's bored. That's flirted with her. I said, God forbid. IDK, how many times I've been unable to text you back since I was in a situation where I could die. I don't want to say what I do for work. Nice to know, too, that you can just forget their numbers. What's even worse is that you're only telling me this now because I've started to call you out on what I've seen. I also find it funny that you would rather protect your reputation and job then provide me a way to ask for the truth. You deliberately hid his number from me to protect yourself and your job. There's other jobs we could have found for you and ones you would have liked too. And the only reason you told me the truth was because I told you I was going to bed, which made you either worried or scared. She then sent me this. I was texting picture guy about work, nothing to get his attention. I'm aware you can die on this job. Why do you think I always call and text and always tell you I love you and to be safe? I forgot I had his number. BC, I don't text him. No other reason. I have offered to get his number again so you could ask him. And you said no. So, and not just for the job, for us a life so we don't just bank off of your income. This job pays more than a pharmacy. So I took this job until I can move into the pharmacy. And the guy she said she blocked was texting me about his women problems, not trying to get in my pants. I blocked them. I have offered for you to go through my phone. I have done everything I can. I didn't tell you BC there wasn't anything to tell. I didn't flirt or do nothing with them. I then started to catch her changing stories about who texted who first and what I had written earlier about the topics changing. She had told me that she sent the first message to him, and now it had changed to her starting the conversation. She then tried to convince me that, with him asking what you doing and her texting back, that she had started 
the conversation. I told her that she was wrong. After telling her that it was crazy to answer a what you doing text from a guy that has hit on her constantly, she told me that it wasn't that kind of WYD, that she had told him to quit flirting with her months ago at work. She stopped texting me back and I went to sleep. This is what I have from yesterday and there's been more today. She wanted badly to talk to me and said she was coming to talk extra edit. Today, I was talking to the friend who told me. She said she had messaged the other girl on the trip asking why she didn't tell me the truth. And this is what she had to say. GF is legitimately the only friend, true friend I have. The only difference it would make with me saying something is I would be down a friend. I believe that me has all the information he needs to draw his own conclusions. I also believe that it wasn't our business to tell, so I'm going to stand by her on this one. All that's left is for her to suffer whatever consequences come from this. She came over and we talked. She ended up giving me her phone. I went through it and texted one of her friends, the other one that was on the trip. Long story short, she confirmed that GF had told them about giving oral. GF started telling me that she only told them that story to cause drama and to make the two friends bond over it since they don't get along. I also saw where GF was texting another friend talking about the message above. It also showed the one that messaged this saying that I don't think you GF should have done stuff while you and BF were together. It also showed that GF was told to make sure to delete her Apple Cloud. She again told me that it was to make them bond on the trip, so I have everything I need. She's lied over and over to me, and someone who commented was right. I was hoping she could convince me, but this is too much for me. Cheaters never stop. Let's see the comments. Just break up with her. You're dating an immature girl. Don't waste your time on her and remember, she was the one that sent the relationship to the drains. If she couldn't respect the relationship, then there's no point in trying to. OP, I'll do my best. She wants to talk more in the morning, so I'll add an update if anything is said. I've been cheated on in nearly every relationship. My father, who I've talked to about other issues, says I've ignored every red flag in the book. I didn't believe him till today. She is now texting me, telling me that when she goes back to work, she will get the number for me so I can talk to the guy. She'll get her story aligned with that guy, and once they are on the same page, she'll let you have his number. Block her and move on. OP, I believe you're right. Block her. There's no reason for you to put up with her lies anymore. You won't ever be able to trust her again. As far as the I'm bored text, she knows you could die, and that's what she messages a guy that she knows wants to get with her. Let him have her then. Is she honestly saying she was trying to help you find proof when she was deleting stuff? She's fine with you looking now because she's deleted the evidence. Honestly, is there anything that she could say or do that would make you believe her or trust her in the future? OP. At this point, I don't believe there's much she could say. I'm just surprised at how she's fighting hard now. Look, dude. She gave herself changing the narrative of all and adjusting to her favor. All are red flags. She is lying big to you and is trying to save her face. She wants you, like you told, as the safe BF, while she get her necessities meet with this affair partner. Send her a message and tell her that you already made up your mind and that you do not trust her for her inconsistencies and that both are over that she can return to her APs to select a new prey of a BF. Then just block her. If she comes to your house, just do not open and tell her there is nothing to talk anymore. She is a liar, a very bad one, and a cheater. You are better alone for now, OP. I've read through your two posts, and I think at the end of the day, you cannot really date someone you do not trust. I think the reason you're still talking to her and still wanting to talk to her is because deep down you're still hoping that she can convince you that she didn't. 
I have no idea what the truth is, but the fact is that I know that I wouldn't be able to trust someone who is so inconsistent when speaking. And from the sound of it, it seems like you're the same. Whether she really did anything or not isn't really important at this stage. If I were you, I just wouldn't know how to trust her anymore, even if she didn't do anything. Someone clean doesn't need to hide phone numbers under different names. They don't twist and turn their stories each time they tell them. And most importantly, they prioritize their relationship. I'm not going to say break up with her because that's your choice. And whether you stay or leave, you'll be the one living with the consequence of that choice. However, if you do decide to leave, then do it cleanly and go no contact. Dude, she's forgotten what lies she told you. You won't get the whole truth about what she did. She's too selfish, yo, admit the truth. Your best option is to just block her and move on. You know enough. Good luck. At this point, she's not fighting for you or your relationship, but her reputation. She'll convince herself that you are worked up about nothing, being unfair, and that she's only made some little mistakes. This will be her narrative for everyone around her, including you. She's trying to save herself, nothing else, and you should stop entertaining her. I'm not a fan of blocking, so I'd only do that if it becomes harassment. But you should stop talking with her. You're not going to get anything that'll help you heal. Closure is almost always overrated nonsense, and you should begin to move on. There's no friendship here, no reason to talk.